So for the kids this season, I did manage to go for this kid, uh, it's Adidas. We did sign a contract with Adidas for uh, two years, so um, yeah, this is the kid. Let me rotate this, uh, it looks nice. And this is our weight case, of course, another Adidas kid. This one is absolutely beautiful. The sky blue looks fantastic with the black, but yeah. And also a stadium, um, we didn't make any changes because um, we just moved into the stadium last year, so. The only changes I made was to the pitch, uh, changing the color of it and making it a little bit uh, dark and green. But yeah, we can't really change it. For the atmosphere and everything, I just kept it the same. So I don't want to change anything. But yeah, that's what, uh, uh, those are the changes for the Kid Crest and the city. So this is how the team is looking like going into Season 3. Um, Stefan Marvinov is there, but we will be doing a little bit of a shake-up to the team. Uh, as you can see, this left-hand side, this side is really weak. Um, so we'll definitely get a new left back, center back, and I'm not sure what we do after that. And we'll see if we can get offers for Collins or Hardy. We'll see um, which, how much we can get for them if a realistic offer comes. But yeah, Bird might be on the chopping list as well. He hasn't been really uh, great. He hasn't grown much. So we we'll look at the right back position as well. So a lot of changes. So I'm definitely new goalkeeper since. Stefan Marvinus did inform us then the last season that he will be going and will not be played at the club for the forthcoming season. Our first departure this season is going to be Archie Collins. I did agree a few with Norwich, of course, they do play in the Premier League, so I see it as a realistic destination for Collins. So yeah, we did agree a 5.3 million fee. Here we go, our first sign of the season is going to be Tommy Doyle from Cardiff City. Uh, let's see if we can agree a contract with him. Um, of course, I'm giving crucial. He's cool with us, so let's see if he can time down for as long as possible. He wants a one year, which is a little bit sus. He doesn't believe in us, but we'll see. Disregard release, he wants 7,000, which, which is a lot. But to be fair, it's, yeah, we're gonna have to get used to this switch truck. 9,000 is still a lot of money, but welcome to the club, Tommy Doyle. Yeah, it's time we take out our checkbook and start throwing money at people, but we did sign Tommy Doyle for 3.2 million from Cardiff City. Second sign of the season is going to be Jamie Cumming, the goalkeeper. Um, let's see if he can agree a contract with him. I don't know why he wants to, uh, one year, ever wants one year for some reason. He is willing for two years. Um, let's see. No release clause as well. Hopefully he can, oh, he want me to negotiate for him. Okay, I'll give him... 5k is that fair i think i might have insulted him i don't know we'll see yep that's a reasonable offer i'm happy with it. welcome to the club jamie coming well it, there is the visual confirmation we have signed in from that one team in japan for 2.8 million there our third sign of the season is going to be uh bradley loco from the free agents so um i don't really know what rating is i just saw that he's a first team player which means he's probably 69 to like 73 rating so let's see if we can agree with him um actually was looking through the scouts for like a left back a decent one is i don't know why but it's there there's been shortage of left backs i've seen double the right backs than left backs but we'll see he wants 3.7k that's fine with me welcome to the club uh bradley local also i was scrolling through the free agents and i found k good i'm pretty sure he's a liverpool like you think i'm a player so yeah Let's see uh, if we can sign him out. I think, yeah, we definitely needed to find a right winger, but he looks really good. So hopefully he's between 70-ish rating. He wants 3.1, which is fine with me, but welcome to the club, uh, K. Gordon. You said Luke Brad, unfortunately, he's off to LAFC in the United States for 1.2 million. Stefan Marinovic is also off to the MLS, uh, this time to New York City FC for 1.2 million. We also sell Rory Baird, he's off to Defensa for 2.4 million. Our next player is going to be a right back signing, will be Thiago Almad, not Almeida from Spurs. So let's see if we can get the contract of he wants. He's on 25k, oh my days. I don't even think about this. We might even not even reach an agreement in the contract, we'll see. But um, release clause, yeah, I'm good with it. He wants 14.5 and 500k. Yeah, this. If he cannot accept less than 10k, I think we got a problem. We got a big problem on our hands here. He wants 16k. I can't pay that. Sorry, I, I can't pay this. Wins kind of work, but um, he wants crucial. That's fine with me. 
Uh, we're going in for Calvin Ramsey, a right back of Scotland. So let's see if we can agree a contract with him. I tried to go in for one other right back, and his wages were just too high. But yeah, he's cool with five years. Um, this is the problem the wages. I don't know what to offer him. I'm just gonna slap 5k on the table. Please say you can agree to this. 5.1. You can throw in, uh, removing, I mean, the bonus, and let's see if you see you can agree to it. 5.2, you know what? You can have it. Welcome to the club, uh, Calvin Ramsey. Individual confirmation. I did sign up from Bay Leverkusen for 3 million on the door. For this season, uh, they want us to avoid relegation. I'm not sure if we can do that, but we'll try our best. Reach the round of 16 of the FA Cup, though. That one is a very questionable. I will not be able to do that. Um, we already finished one of the financial objective, which is cool. Round exposure, they want us to get 7 wins in this league, which is doable, in my opinion. The Youth Academy, sign one player, play at least 30% of the next games. I'm not even going to do that, but those are the objective. Very doable. It's, uh, it's one CD. Really tough uh, fixtures to start off the championship season, playing the like of Southampton. Uh, is at Brentford and Nottingham Forest, so I'll be playing the game against uh, Swansea, um, Southampton, and potentially one or two um, against either Brentford or Nottingham Forest. This, but look, look at my boy Ellis Goodwin. He have finally has the tag potential to be special, so he is going to be something special. Hello, Here we Hello, go to kick off our championship campaign. We'll be taking on Swansea City at home here, and this is how we line up. Jamie coming there, local playing. The wings with Ramsey, Elliot Lister, Goodwin, Wiredu, Tommy Doyle, Kate Gordon, Hardy up top, and this is how they line up. Uh, they have Zach Grimms, Matt Grimms, a really good midfielder. But yeah, a really strong uh, Swansea side to be expected, but this is the first chance we had. A really good uh, shot from Ryan Hardy, testing the goalkeeper near post, but unfortunately did go out for, a, I think it was a corner, he made the save. But regardless, in the 15th minute, they do have another good chance. Um, um, great defending near post from Colin Ramsey as they come again and this was another great save from Jamie coming there really showing why he should be the number one there but to be honest there was nothing really um, between the teams just uh, testing each other both uh, offensively and tactically but here we come again Kate Gordon with a good chance there again it was called the offside there it's gonna take us a while to get our feet down in this uh, the uh, gotta feel but here they come against Swansea City with a really good chance here again another great save from Jamie coming there to send it out for a corner, but we do consider first goal of the game here. Um, terrible defending from uh, Colin Ramsey, the new right back, but he yeah, still needs to learn a lot. But we do consider goal here, and all of a sudden they have another good chance here, and a great goalkeeping from Jamie coming to send it out for a corner. As we look to get our maybe our first chance of the game here, again it was a great defending from Swansea City. Just clocked. They're also playing the five at the back. Another. One of those formations I actually hate playing against, but I might consider going to five at the back just for this league. Um, but I I believe in the team. I think we can turn our turn around our form. But we do consider another goal there. Um, I think it was one of the strikers. He made it two here, and it's to be expected. You know, I came into this game maybe getting. Uh, I was like, if I can get a point from Swansea City, I'll be a happy camper. But. Another terrible miss from Connor Smith there again. It's not the league is used to. Maybe a league that's above his caliber there. Who knows? But it's just about getting form. You know, always at the beginning of every season, you know, I start off really rough and then pick up form at the end. As they almost made it three there, but they both opposed that save us there. As we look to get maybe a consolation goal. Great defending from Swansea City here, and that's how the game's going to end. We do sort of fall last year against Swansea City. Oh my god, how much harder can the fixtures get as we take on uh, Southampton here? They got relegated from the Premier League, but look at that lineup though. They have Strakosha, a really good goalkeeper, Livermento, Team away It's really, really strong. I think that team could actually qualify for Europe. That's how good they are, but to be honest, like, uh, I don't even know what to say. Like, the first few minutes of the game were just all over us. Yeah, and they do get the first goal of the game here in the 70th minute. Terrible defending, but Armstrong does make it. One nil here for some reason he just whipped out the Cristiano Ronaldo for um, his celebration. I don't know why. Um, I did like a Blackburn series back in FIFA 21 and he even did that. I think that's his like signature dance. But here we come again. We have another good chance here. Wardo again somehow getting on the attacking. But uh, to be honest, it was a really good chance. But again, um, it was defended really well by uh, Southampton as we got a good chance here. Nice cross from Elliot List there and the defending from Livermento was just too class. But here they come Southampton on attack here, really good chance here, yeah, I was trying to um, send the goalkeeper in but we do uh, keep our shape and defend really well and 
another good chance here Jeff Jeff is slop I think his name is he still keep going but another good chance from them and this time Jamie Cameron I gotta say he's really putting off some massive saves imagine what he can do if he was a little bit um, like if he had like a little bit of form and maybe like a two or three ratings above but yeah I'm looking forward to Jamie Cameron I gotta say it was like the moment I started road to I was like I gotta sign this goalkeeper like he has a real face have not used him really good really good goalkeeper hopefully um he can be as we think but we do okay, i think this was a penalty maybe yeah maybe it wasn't okay it was a free kick i thought it was a penalty but um brendan wilder need to be cautious there on the top he could have got himself sent off but it's a free kick and the moment i saw james ward was on that free kick i had to put someone on the line we know he can hit those free kicks so yeah probably one of the most prolific free kick taker in the premier league but yeah really good player and southampton's captain yeah but Again, it was just all over Southampton, but I'm really happy that against the Premier League side, we actually uh, keep the game a little bit too too close. So maybe we're getting chances, but it didn't really matter at the end as we can see the goal here in the 73rd minute. And I think it was uh, Salim, a guy who was just something else. But again, uh, they do have another good chance here. Callum uh, Ramsey does manage to clear it, and we actually can see that another good chance here in the 83rd minute. They should have made it three here. Here they come again. Jao Pedro finding. Uh, Livermento to make it three here and they will be picking up all three points here to be honest I thought um, we gave all but yeah then we do lose here to be against Forrest Green in the early rounds of the uh, is that Carabao Cup yeah I think it is we'll go ahead and quick sim this and let's see what kind of result we get we pick up three points here um, good win Smith and Blanco showing the goals for us this game against Coventry City uh, Calumdor looks really tired so let, let me go ahead and rest him we can play uh, Tim De Jong, uh, let's quick sim this and what kind of result we get? We pick up a win here at a list with a race. Uh, there. Peter Dodd has agreed a uh, two year, one year loan move to Dundee FC in the Scottish League. Our last game with the FC will be taken on another big side, Brentford, who also got relegated from the Premier League. Their team looking very strong there, especially Brian and Boehm, a player I'm really familiar with. Raya, um, Christopher Ayer, as well as a really good player. I mean, yeah, they did get from uh, really get it from Premier League, so I'm expecting a bit of a challenge from them but yeah I think they're not even giving us a break the fixtures but yeah I think next episode or the few episodes that's come we should have a good chance of maybe getting some points against the um, championship stable sides but here's the first chance we had at the game Jamie coming it's really pulling off massive saves there to send it out for a corner I thought that was going to be a goal but here they come again Christopher somehow I'm pretty sure he's a center back playing really up front there and they do get the first goal at the game here courtesy of Salem here I think I've never heard of him but good good for him to score the first goal but here we come again at least I thought this was a nice cross but it just goes over the goal there and here we come again another good chance this time finding Ellis Goodwin and this was another terrible miss from Ellis Goodwin really need to work on his shooting there but yeah that's something that need to be improved there um, that should have been a goal at least or something on target but here we come again Callum Doyle there looking to put in a nice cross there no one in the middle to benefit from it and it will be Elliot List there missing it but you will see those chances we missed are really gonna hurt us as um, Brentford were not really letting up they were just taking chances but I gotta say we defended really well and maybe should have deserved uh, at least a goal here but here they come again Brentford in the 35 minute had a good chance and they do find the back on there that's literally the definition of a terrible defending from us but nothing you can do about it they were just too good better individuals nothing you can say about it but here we come again this was a really good pass from Tommy Doyle he's really proving himself a really good player but Elliot List again too close to I mean too slow on the ball could at least pass it to someone else but it was defended really well but here's another good chance we had we do concede it and whew, what a goal from I think it was Salem again and he does make it uh, 3 0. There. I think it was the NLT, yeah. Make it 3 0 to give them uh, a good chance of maybe picking up a win in this game as we look to put in a good cross. This time, no one in the middle to benefit. Uh, Ryan Hardy has been anonymous, suspect in this game, nowhere to be seen. But uh, that was a terrible voice crack. I don't know what. <laughs> that sounded a little bit off. Uh, here we come again. Callum Doyle has been. Um, not Callum Doyle. Uh, Tommy Doyle and Jamie coming are really the positive from this game. But. Our suffer does continue as we can see the fourth goal here again. We're absolutely getting battered in this game. Elliot List again in the 69th minute could even keep himself onside, but close your eyes. This is another good chance they had again. 
And this should have been at least like 7 nil or something. The chances they had. Brian and Bromo in the back post with a great header. But we do defend it really nice. As we come again in the 74th minute. Tommy Dole, I think it was Elliot Lister with a probably miss of the season so far there against David Raya. Yeah, this 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 team is going to... I got to say, the Champions is going to be a long ride. But I'm ready for it. Here we come again. Brian and Bromo this time just missing in front of the goal there. And in the 82nd minute, they, hope they have another good chance here. Uh, for some reason, I just switched language mid-sentence to Danish or something, but uh, that was a little bit of a joke. But here they come again. Brian and Burma put in a nice cross here. We defend really well, but the rebound does find, uh, I can't say his name, but he does make it 5 nil, and Benford will be picking up all three points against us. Our next game at the episode is going to be against Nottingham Forest, which I'll be quick sim, and that's how the team is looking like. We desperately need our uh, squad depth, I think. Um, What's his name? Uh, Sutton is not killing it. But yeah, we do lose here against, to be expected. Uh, only goal in this season just to survive. But Gordon does score a goal and he miss a penalty there, I think. But yeah, who else got? Yeah, it's just Kate going with the race. Quicksim will be this game against Swindon Town in the EFL Cup. So let's Quicksim this. Um, hoping for three points here. And we actually get up. Uh, I'm gonna make this free agent sign Simon Albanos. Uh, he's just going to be a squad player. Um, he wants 1.8 rotation. That's fine with me. Welcome to the club, Simon Albanos. That's what it's going to be against QPR, who sit in 21st place. So yeah, I did make few changes. Uh, Simon will be starting on the left mid position, and Sutton will be coming back for the left back position. Uh, let's quick sim this. I'm hoping for three points here against the relegation side. Like QPR, we do pick up three points. Ryan Hardy is scoring. That was a bad heck of a guy to say, but Ryan Hardy did score the only goal for us in the 47th inning. I'm pretty sure that's um, Gareth Bell region, but let's see, he wants crucial, so which is a good thing. Um, let's make it five years. He wants five years, no relief for us, no problem with me. He wants 3k wages, let's move the bonus and we can call the deal here. And he does agree. Welcome to the club, Yandel. Deadland, as you can see, we have spent, uh, let me pull it up, 9 million, I think it was. Yeah, we spent 9 million profit, 10 million there. I'll quickly show you guys the top deals around the world. Um, let's see. Florian Vers to Liverpool for 114 million. There, Mason Mount to Juventus for 99 million. Marcus Verratti to Spurs for 90 million. You know, some big transfers there. Um, Lucas Paqueta to Liverpool. I think Liverpool will be making big moves to this transfer window. So is Atletico Madrid there. But here are the transfers we made. A lot of transfers. Collins is off to Norwich for. 5.3 million there. Um, we did sign a uh, column Tommy Dollar replacement of uh, Collins for 3 million. Also, Ramsey for 3 million from I can't remember the team. Um, Jamie coming for 2.8 million. Uh, we sell uh, Rory Baird to Defensor for 2.4 million. Sold Luke Brad to LAFC. Mitrovic to uh, Marinovic to New York City as well for 1.2 million. We loaned out. Uh, Jesse Manning, who's already at plus three in like two months, so it should really be good to Tondela in the Portuguese league. We also know that uh, Peter Dot to Dundee in the Scottish league and signed the local for free. Arcade in Gordon for free. Uh, this uh, free agent Arbanos as a squad player, and also I think this is Gareth Bell region, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, we signed him for free as well. So we made three or four free agent signing, but this is how the team is looking like. Um, as you can see, I'm really happy with the squad, especially the goalkeeping spot. Jamie coming was a player I had my eye on at the beginning of the series, so I'm looking forward to how he develops. And Ramsey should be a good player as well, a player I haven't used, so if we can develop him, he should be a really good player. Uh, Benitez is really good, I think he gained plus three as a center back, also one of the players in the future. Local is just another player assigned for stepping stone purposes, so we might ship him off once we get to the Premier League. Who knows if he doesn't go that much? But Dennis is a position we need to upgrade um, come January transfer window. But the midfield, I'm really happy with Wardu, Goodwin, and Earl. I don't think I would be changing anything to this midfield. Kid Gordon, uh, he picked up a knock, but luckily he's back. He's another player he's, that is untouchable. Yano also, I don't think I'll be upgrading. Um, Ryan Hardy, if he has a season he had like last season, I don't think we'll be shipping him. But yeah, this is how the team is looking like. Very happy with it. And for the player the episode, this episode is just, uh, I don't even know who to give because we had a terrible episode. But um, I guess I'll just give it to Jamie Cummins because he pulled up some crazy saves. So he does pick up his first player the episode. If you made it this far into the episode, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Peace.